there's a way we have been hearing. Uh, this one looks very abusive, but it's true. Uh, there's a way we've been hearing at some point when we were not born again or actively under the influence of God. There's a way sometimes we hear from our inside to do something. Uh, you just hear something and you move on doing it. Might be a very good example. If you kikosana na mtu na mtu kutukane tu vibaya na wewe hujai mtukana uh, I assume you are you are very canon. Uh, and you something inside you tells you bwana si mfundisha huyu kitu. Si hata mtu. <laughs> teach something this teach this person something eh. In western they say you know there are elections for bishops is it after every five years just like uh, uh, this mainstream churches have issues so there's a KG church somewhere in in western now when they to to look for bishop or something of that sort they normally say weka yesu kando na wanome wakutane and uh, they can do anything to get that seat just like the political seat we have hmm? so when you somebody makes you so mad have you been mad at somebody huh? and then you hear some voices speaking so loud in you nobody hears except you is that true nobody hears you're the only one so toy to meno yake moja meno manijino whichever it is uh, you are uh, my you poor hmm? you were young at least let me just what I'm going it you know damn then I am feeling like now I am giant yeah uh, you the, the, there's a way uh, I'm trying to say that you can uh, you can get back uh, to how uh, this the devil has been speaking to us uh, he has been speaking to us. Whether you knew that he was there, he was there. And uh, many of the things that sometimes you feel like doing that you know is not right. Like, have you ever felt of gossiping somebody? Somebody just passed by. And then you began. Huh? There's a way in our this side people say, you, and then you Bada ya kupita sasa mnaanza ku discuss. What was speaking to you when that person was passing by? Huh? Na mtu aje kuguza aje kukosea in any way. Naturally something was speaking to you from there. Naturally something was was addressing you from the inside. You are just uh, you just knew it's knowledge you just knew something one of the reasons why we need to have enough of the word of God inside you is so that you control the voice that speaks you from the, the inside like for example you are tempted to speak something about against someone and I know the truth of the matter is our conscience, the voice of our spirit speaks to us. That thing is wrong. That thing is, sometimes as you know that it is wrong, you continue doing something. The way to strengthen the voice that is speaking from inside you because the Holy Spirit can be active in your spirit and can show you some direction to take. And then there's another voice that is active. The voice of the older man. You know, if your mind has not been renewed, there's a way you want to think always, which is not right. 
if this voice speaking from within you is not of God, you can say no. And the other thing is also God speaks the same way. I think we are in page 61. We were talking about, uh, it's like a thought is communicated to your mind. A thought. Uh, what we po people call an idea, something. For your information, the Greek word for word in the beginning was the word. And the word was God. And the word was that word word is logos in Greek. And if you bring it to English, it means idea. It means idea. Now, when you listen to the word of God, when you listen to the word of God, it forms the foundation of your knowledge from which to operate so that when anything that happens to you in this life you know there's a way we will have some quick a response to what happens to us quick response you feel headache I didn't say you have yeah you feel headache what exactly immediately comes Panadol in fact, extra. Extra. They tell you extra one is powerful than the, the normal one. Or maramoja. Or. Now, the response of your spirit to the situation at hand is dependent on whether you are established well in the scriptures or you're not. If you're not established well in the scriptures, you go the normal ways, the natural ways. Which is the natural ways? You, you normally take the natural ways in all things that you do. Whether somebody slaps you, you take it, you give him another one. So you exchange, pop, pop. <laughs> he abuses you, I don't know much here. Hmm? Headache comes, Maramoja. Hmm? Maramoja. And there's a way they, how did they give that name? Maramoja. It means it removes pain, Maramoja. Is it true? Hmm? They, there's a way that we respond uh, immediately to anything that comes. Somebody is sick. The immediate response is to run. Is the response of God to our situation our response, really? Hmm? How you respond to the issues of life, is it the same way that God responds to the issues of life? One of the things about God is, we see this one in Jesus. Can we begin studying the book of uh, Matthew? Not Matthew. Mark. Beginning tomorrow. I have some reasons to, to do this. Every morning when you wake up, even if you're reading some other, I know some of us might have some other books we're reading. I want us to begin from Mark chapter 1. Every day we do two chapters. Sawa, sawa. And I want you to observe Jesus. And how he responds to issues of life. And then ask yourself, where are you? So that we should not be talking about, yes, uh, unajua ni mwana wa mungu, na wewe? Mwana wa mutu. Even the Bible calls you your sons of God. You become son when you, you, when you mature spiritually. Otherwise you become the children of God. Yeah? Or the babies of God. You know, they're also babies. Either babies of God, children of God, 
or the the sands you're not called sands because of the number of years you have you are called sun because of maturity so uh, when you allow your response to any situation to be scriptural you are hearing God and that is also when you will realize you know sometimes you get problem and you go to your friends niko naishida i like uh, john john behind you know and as we talk with him and if a christian couple come to him wameamua eh nimechoka na wewe sisi wameongeleshana kutoka kwa nyumba twende they are coming for what divorce just advise us Uh, and it's obvious for a, a lawyer who is not born again to just write for them give them direction on how that is that will happen uh, for him he first he begins with what the bible and the people he is counseling are older than him they're married some have children big enough and this young man <laughs> is just speaking the scriptures And then he says this one is not paid. You know the other one you can pay. This one is not This one is not paid. This one is preaching now. You are giving you the word of God. I'm saying there's always sometimes you rush to ask for help to somebody. It can be a close friend who you think cares for you. It can be a family member. Now if this person He is not founded in the scriptures even if they are Christians they can give you the wrong ways to move and i assure you if you follow that advice god is not in your life even in that decision can we speak the truth god is not there god only is found when you begin acting on his word you don't need to call him when you're acting on his word i understand what i'm saying you don't need to call him you tell you tell him i have chosen this route because it is your scripture that says his involvement is immediate now this is foreign to many people You see the word of God is with us but it is not really for living for many believers when you choose to live by the word God's involvement in your life is so so real today I was guiding I was counseling somebody here they were unable to pay rent this is a church a pastor and they wanted 12k she wrote to me last week and uh, pastor nafukuzwa kwa room naitaji rent 12000 unaweza nisaidia i called her here uh, we sat we talked before i gave her the 12000 i talked to her i said uh, who guides you who directs your part i know you have the gift of prophecy it's very real it is working uh, being prophet doesn't mean that god is involved in everything you are doing some of the things you might be doing yourself <laughs> that god has not said as oyede always says if god didn't say it carry that bill yourself <laughs> god will not be there and it's very true i told that 12000 is not something much i don't want to see you suffer in this town they have a place in this town but i told that if possible leave that place build your financial bes ni mtu mwenye saiza kiumbe hata mgonjwa anapona lakini amepoteza mwelekeo mali she was asking i've prayed for the diabetic they are getting healed i've prayed for who i've even prayed for a a deaf 
akasikia na ndio shida i told her i am also as gifted as you think as you are although in different areas but when it comes to the principle of ministries uh, you have to have enough wisdom enough wisdom so hearing god it doesn't mean simply because you are a believer you are hearing god jesus could ask why do you call me lord lord when you do not do my will did he ask that question that question is going to who non believers is it non believers it's going to believers let me tell you in jesus name you can live a glorious life much of liberty with much of liberty peace prosperity abundance in finances this is a foreign gospel to many of us because some of us are used to poverty gospel you have to be poor you have to suffer you have to struggle <laughs> is that what we are told yes and if you are truly holy you must be poor i am not poor and i will not be poor forever in the name of jesus huh? you must be sick hmm? people are attacking me now i've begun school of healing that healing will be sorry we speak about it until tangible miracles happens those are the kind of gospel we hear with preachers who are already failed that is the gospel jesus brought paul brought how could paul go to all the cities big cities in his time you know when we talk about city today in kenya we are talking about nairobi mombasa uh huh ephesus was a place like mombasa lazima uwe na pesa bwana kwenda kitaka kwenda mombasa hata kuishi huko hata nairobi hata kisumu bwana and those are cities we know nakuru has just qualified hebu kwenda tu kuishi nakuru for eh lazima ujipange you must have staying in cities is not easy wakati wa corona watu wengi wa nairobi na na mombasa waliona siku mrefu utaenda kufanya kazi rent ni ngapi government inaanza kusema tafadhali landlords <laughs> be kind to your is but these people even jesus jesus commissioned his disciples from jerusalem the biggest city in that time how can you walk in begin raining in town and big town without money i am saying we can have all these provided that we are following his voice what what we are trying to speak here I, i'm trying to speak about uh, hearing god even in the minutest details of your personal life amen that is what is lacking in the body of christ in the minutest details of your personal life things that uh, you decide every day if i am speaking to you until the last of this class you see i, I will not begin a chapter just to rush through like others and then finish because by the time i finish talking to that topic something must have happened to you the ability to hear the voice of god is granted you the ability to follow what the word of god says is given to you and that's what happens we're not just talking so that uh to we pass time we do not pass time in what we are doing we are perfecting you in the things of god eh uh, in the things of god so what i'm saying is that you can enjoy the best of life the persecution the suffering jesus talked about is when you are rejected let's come on look at any person who's truly serving god somebody a pastor said if nobody is against you there's a possibility that the devil is also leading you and it's very true you came to the ministry and uh, if nobody is against you hmm? it's like you are agreeing with everybody in there environment but you know 
this world does not run on the system of God. And if you choose to run on the system of God, you, must be, you might become a great enemy of the believers that you are with in the same church, but who are not keen to the voice of God. One of the biggest problems in Masabit churches that everybody talks, as many churches as we have, let me say as all churches as we have, no speaking the truth, even when they see things. You know something is going like this, and everybody is like fearing. You want to address the truth? You want to speak the truth? Where truth is not, God is not. Even if it is a building like this in the name of Divine Life Sanctuary. It's not because you built a, 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 a temple, a, a, a room like this, or a building like this, that God comes in. God only comes in when you come in line with his word. He says, I stand behind my word and perform it. Chapter number one of Jeremiah verse 12. He says, I will hasten my word. The, 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 this other one says, I will hasten my word to perform it. In other words, whenever you find yourself in his will, he will be quick to come. He will be quick to come and act on your behalf. He will be quick. I am saying he will be. I am saying he will be quick. God is quicker than anybody. Quicker to come to a rescue. And uh, one of the things that normally happens is he wants first of all to establish your foundation on his word. And when that establishment on, of your life on his word is made possible or has been made his movement becomes so fast in your very life. So that's why we are talking about the voice of God. The voice of God. Verse, uh, we are on page 61. God's voice ascends within us as a knowing. We know things. Just like you know that your spirit is within you. Yet you don't feel, you don't feel it, but you know. You come to the point of knowledge, awareness. You may not be able to fully explain, but you know. For example, how do you know God is within you right now? Because he said it in Matthew chapter number 28, verse 20. He says, I will be with you until the end of the age. Uh, age simply means... That word is age, not the earth, until the end of the earth. The age simply means the time when uh, the church age will come to an end. And it began how many years ago? 2,000 years ago plus. It says until the age, when he declared that, he was talking about the 2,000 years that he gave for the church to preach the gospel. It says until those 2,000 years, the same Holy Spirit that began with Peter and John and James is the same Holy Spirit that we have today. And that's why we should expect the same result from the same Holy Spirit. The same miracles that they were doing it. The same wonders, signs, we must expect today. For them, they were so keen on what God is always up to. Even speaking to them and experienced the word of God is a wonder working knowledge. The devil cannot withstand his presence. The word of God. As you come every day here, what we are trying to help you is to. Build your mindset on the word of God. Hmm? We are saying here that there is something you know. That's why, now, if, if you are used to hearing God, like we are saying here, uh, you just know. Is God with you? It 
when we worship in this place, we do not say, remember me, God. Those, those songs have expired. Those songs have expired. Here, we just worship him. You know, worshiping him means worshiping him. Look at the songs we sing here. We just talk of how he's great, how he's powerful, how mighty he is. Sometimes you say you worship God when you're really expressing your disappointment. Angelia <laughs> Buana, you're expressing disappointment. Sisi wana wako tumekusanya. Angalia. So, kwa ni mungu waoni? Anangalia nini? Sasa, anangalia, afanya nini? Umuambie, isi umuambie kenya ngeva kufanya. <laughs> Angalia, mwana, remember me, oh mighty God. Remember me. God is shocked. He's looking at you like, <laughs> you are even, you are even uh, giving him the wrong attributes. Remember me? Remember you? When did he forget you? All those songs are made or are sung by people who do not have their life established on the truth of the gospel. Abraham was sick or the other day was was telling me what are people singing this like so many Kiborana songs he says those ones are those I don't even want to listen. Uh, if if you know the truth you know you know somebody was asking me look at Wakwa Raga people are praying for him from every corner what and what? and then she was asking me Sarah uh Pastor, why can't you come in? They are raising millions from the other side, from here. Now, if their faith is showing them medical, uh, what do you call it? Medical what? Intervention. Not God's intervention. You know, when you always have options, Besides God, God will also leave you to that option. Because God is not, God is not one of the options. God is the only option. Are you hearing me? <laughs> if, if you have God on this side, in fact, many a time, God is the last option. Ata ye ata jiondoa. Eenda sumbuka vizuri. You think God does not know how to revenge? He knows. One, two, three, four, and God is number five. Hmm? If you study the scriptures clearly, you realize that them that have left all, even them that like the woman with the issue of blood, she reached a point where she realized the only solution is where? Peter, when he was looking for fish, what did he say? I've tried all. The whole night at your word. You see, you don't have to reach a point where the problem has cornered you and is always finishing you for you to begin thinking that God becomes the, the option. Why don't, don't they know by stripes they are? Why? Yeah, he told her, Pastor, pray for him, pray for him. It's well. All the musicians, the whole, the main one in Ethiopia, are raising money. In Kenya also, they are raising. But God, you know, sometimes understands us at the level of understanding. The day I say he is all, any other help or support except who? No other. 
He is sufficient. Unatosha, tunazema unatosha ande unatafuta option nyingine. Unatosha nini? <laughs> hmm? Hmm? Unatosha. Unatosha. <laughs> Unatosha. Unatosha emu. And then the following morning you are in hospital. <laughs> Looking for tablets. <laughs> uh, unato, sasa anatosha wapi? Mwami ni fu e mwa. You know you're so religious. Huh? So consumed in the Holy Ghost. Wow. And you are like. <laughs> and then. Kwani you worship? Haina chochote kuhusiana na vile utaishi kesho jumatatu. I am asking a question. Doesn't doesn't have any association with your living tomorrow? Am I a church near church? Who go to Kenda to Naimbanga? Again to get a Monday to Kenda to Naishi Kivietu. Ukisema Anatosha, Anatosha in all. Be it in sickness, be it when you are looking for job. Be it when you are trusting him for marriage, be it he is enough. We are saying this thing comes to you in knowing. You know knowing. You just know. You just. That also takes faith. Because you are trusting him when everybody is seeing risk. You know what risk is. <laughs> when, when everybody feels that you are you're risking I like uh, uh, if you want to develop faith I want you to listen to somebody like Pastor Wilfred Lai Wilfred Lai says they call it risking but I, I call it living I call it living this year every service he gives 17,000 and he must every service the whole week. On Sunday he goes for around how many services? That those are offering, not 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 light, yeah. Seventeen thousand for service. How much is that? And he began from five thousand. Every year he increases money. That has to be faith. He says, I know what I'm doing. That is faith. It, is, it looks like risking. It is good to risk on God, not human beings. How many? In fact, it is, it is risking when you, when you depend on human beings. <laughs> the opposite is true. <laughs> why, why, why? This is called deception. You look at how you believe. Yes, he's able to help me. You come back and disappointed. You are risking when you depend on people, not when you depend on God. What we are saying here is you naturally know, and the word of God is the basis for every knowledge you have. That if he said this, it is true. It is any other knowledge that you base your life on? Hmm? I tell you, you will fail perfectly. Is that perfect failure? <laughs> or 100% failure? Any other information you base your life on? Any other? They sang in English and they said what? All other ground is? Sinking sand. All other. Any information you base your life on. Outside the word of God. Fails. You just crossed. I saw you. So you can talk. 
<laughs> so somebody just passing and <laughs> eh, God help you wherever you are. That must be a madrasa guy. So he just passed. That is also warfare. <laughs> there are ways of warfare, so thank God for him. He should be forgiven. I know if you just kitoka hapa saizi mutatoka mbio epi ataenda wepa unanda kumshika uh, wacha mungu wa mshike penyako uh, what I'm saying is uh, <laughs> uh, is that uh, if you base your knowledge your, your, your doings on his word even sometimes when things are really moving against and people are like feeling like you didn't you just just you just have to hurry up peace amen peace si ufanya haraka ufanya nini haraka ya kufanya nini and what you go and do is might be outside the will of god you know i i always say this as long as in whichever situation of life god becomes your trust you will not have worry you will not be moved eh, by what happens if god says is god says be still and know that i am i am god chapter number 46 of isaiah no sorry psalms it says be still and know when terrible Chaos are happening, storms are hitting. Be? When you're not still and you're running everywhere, God is not also involved. Run, run, and as you run, you hit yourself with something else. You add more problem on the already problem that you have. And you're like, hmm? if you're peaceful, your mind is sound. If you're not peaceful, your mind is not. What moves you is what is happening. Even the decision you make in a hurry, hurry, hurry has no blessings. It's true, yeah? The decision you make in a hurry, eh, you must be composed. You must. If he says, don't fear, do not. If he says, don't be anxious, don't be. But I always tell you the truth. As long as you have not been established. You see, this class you think is just a... Uh, e, e class, in Ashinda class, your master's and a PhD. I am telling you the truth. This class, it can be... I'm not against studying master's because even me, I will do that. Next year, my plan is to do leadership in management. Manager, uh, sorry, masters in leadership and management. I'll do. And the money is available. Are you hearing that? There's enough money. Can you say there's enough money for everything that I need? There's money enough. I am saying there is enough. The scarcity was damaged when Jesus died on the cross. Scarcity. Opportunity cost. <laughs> you know, opportunity cost. All of you have done that. Choose what you get, whether this or no, I will choose all. I will have all. We are going to get another camera. Nikon, the best one. Money is available. Where is it? Yes, it's, uh, it's there. I will pray God to open your eyes to, to see it. <laughs> Where is it? It is there. As real as God is because it's not visible, that provision is also real. Uh, I know. I? I know. I know. Is a knowing. The biggest problem human beings have are 
what they know that does not help. Irrelevant knowledge all over. <laughs> huh? Before even, you see, look at scientists. They have to research this, research that. They're looking for what? The truth. But the Holy Spirit is the spirit of? <laughs> He's available without expense. I'm not saying it's bad. Whatever science is doing is bad. No, it's not bad. <laughs> but there is easy way to the solution of Corona. It is the school of healing of divine life. International. <laughs> Cancer can easily be dealt with. The solution is simple. The truth of the word of There are some of you here, even if somebody tells you you have cancer, you cannot believe. What is cancer doing in me? It doesn't have any power. When Jesus said, I am with you until the end of the age, that's not a promise, yeah? Is it promise something you expect later? It is the statement of truth. It's something that is real that is working. So if he says, I am with you, just know that he is. Don't look around and wonder. You know, there are some of us who are moved by what we see. Like, for example, when you come to church, the thing that some people focus you on is, do not look around how many chairs are empty. Do not look. <laughs> what, what did you come to do with the other person there? Because even him, is just a customer like you. <laughs> he, he's coming to get something from God. So what are you looking? Eh? Christine, do not look around. John, do not look around. <laughs> what, what do we have with the seats? You and your God have something to do with it. We, we are not controlled by what we see. We are moved by what God says. Hmm? This class, sometimes we are two or three. And we worship like we don't care how many people are inside. When he says, also, I'm going to give you a shidaki, and I'm going to give you a shidaki. I'm going to give you a shidaki. Sasa kukuwa kwake, so so hapa, ina kusedia ni kila moja yoni tu muna muna ngangania tu. His presence, you get something from him. Knowledge of who God is matters. And it is not a baby believer that can hear God. What is he wearing, Leo? Our eyes are fixed. We, we dwell on knowledge. As long as he says it is true. And anything else is lie. Even if doctor has, has looked under the microscope. And it took blood. Angalia. And then he brings a report. You know, some of us will become illegal in hospitals unless we are going to heal others there. Hmm? <laughs> you hear God and live. Because God uses his words to respond to you. Jesus could easily say, Somebody is coming and saying, I'm sick, I'm says, it is well with. Look at God in chapter 1 of Genesis. What does he say? He saw darkness. Let there be. If he used words to make things right, what do you have? Why do you have these other options? That is costing you. Because he said, I am with you. He's right there. Not as a promise that he would be with me always, but as a statement of truth that he was indeed with me always. And because it is impossible for God to lie. As we read chapter number 6, verse Romans, uh, Hebrews verse 18, the Bible, uh, where the Bible says, I know he is here with me now without a doubt. With this very simple knowledge, I have done and experienced things that 
would sound unbelievable even to a simple Christian. Today I was giving that lady an, uh, wisdom on how to develop her system so that finances easily come for whatever she wants to serve God. I was sharing with her all that is happening to us in this ministry. Akatoka nje, eh, yikompondi yedi nukubwa, sijuni nini. Stop, I told her, stop about that. Eh, you just connect yourself to him. Connect yourself to him. You'll have all that you need. What is happening in this ministry is pure faith. Pure. It is not dependent on any other human being. No human being can say he is causing the success of Divine Life Embassy International. All the programs we are doing, it is God who has all the credit. And without a doubt, I can speak something and it happens. It happens. It is God. And what I speak is just the word of God, nothing else. Hmm? Just, just the word of God. It is happening. If it is happening for ministry, why can't it not happen for you as an individual? Why can't it happen for you even in your personal life? It will, it has to happen. As you believe and declare. Hata wakati ulienda shule. Ulienda shule miaka ngapi? How many years? Nasari, you will come to see Nasari and you will come to the unit. Then you can class 8, 9 years, uh -huh. 4 years, high school, 13 years, 4 years, 17 years. Now, when you enter church, you will come to the church, you will come to the church. Now, you will come instant miracle. You will come to the church, then you will come to the miracle of your salary. Somebody has built you very well. You need enough time in the word of God to be made. And it's not everybody. Every preacher will build you in the word of. It's only the one who has already been built up in the word. And functioning from the very word. That can build you up. So as you are built up in him. You can have authority over every area of your life. Because you will not just be. Living ignorantly, you'll be hearing God in all areas of life. Anybody who hears God must succeed. And that's the, word, the secret of Jesus. He established himself in the word. And uh, I'm saying beginning tomorrow, Mark chapter 1 and Mark chapter number. Look at Jesus' response to so many things around. Then on... On Wednesday, 3-4, I think I need to get somebody's name here. And uh, if I don't have your number, I need your number. I think you are the only two of you. I don't have your numbers. And Irene, I want your numbers. We want to go practical, yeah? I want you to read and look at Jesus' response. If possible, let that reading be the first thing you do in the morning. Before you speak to anybody, just open up the Bible, read chapter 1 and 2. Look at Jesus. I want you to observe him. And how hearing God helps him to, resp to, to respond to the things that happen to others and even to him. And then you know that you can respond the way Jesus is responding. ni mwana wa mungu. <laughs> no. No. He came to make you what he is. Father, we are grateful in Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you for your word. We receive it with meekness. May it make us into what you want us to be. We bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen.
May the grace and the love of God, the fellowship of the Spirit is with us now and forevermore.